Okay, so let's talk about the laser welding capabilities of the laser welding machine I got from China. Just to give you an idea, I've been just running a few sample passes here, um, and I wanna show you the back side of this thing. I don't know how good you can tell, but it, it's going full penetration all the way through this sheet of 14 gauge. I'll just walk you through it and kind of show you what all comes with the setup. This is the chart that they send you. Um, basically, this machine here is capable of welding up to three millimeters of carbon steel. Uh, it gives you your parameters that you need to get your machine set at, which I've done here, and it's pretty straightforward. And setting the, setting the uh, peak power on this is pretty straightforward. You hit technology, you're going to adjust your peak power. I've got it right now at uh, 900 watts. Um, so 900 watts, our duty cycle is 100, our frequency is 2000 hertz. And then we can go over and I'll show you the welding machine. This part here is what holds your wire. We're running 035 wire. It runs just like a MIG, just like your MIG gun at home. It's got drive rollers in here. As far as your settings, it's pretty far, far, straightforward. You've got manual wire feed and then a manual withdrawal that you can just set up. Um, in this case, just going off of the off of the chart, they're calling for 60 um, on their wire feed speed, so I got it set up for 60. It does come with a few sets of different tips that you can use. Um, there is a, a laser cutting tip that you can put on here. And then this is basically for different wire sizes. So in this case, we're using 035, but you can go all the way up to 052. You can go up to a 16th wire. And they, the tips, the tips are allow that. There's even some tips in here for like an outside corner. Even if you're going to run dual wire, if you're going to be doing a, a large field pass on like an outside corner or something like that. And in this case here, the shielding gas we're going to use is 100% uh, argon. And you set it up just like any other machine. Um, we're running 20 CFH. That's what the manufacturer told me I can run to weld with this. So that's what we have. There's a few consumables here with these tips, just some 035 tips uh, that get threaded on the end of this uh, pipe. Make sure you have your uh, glasses on. You need a pair of gloves. Turn your fume extractor on. And let's go ahead and tack this together and see how it welds. Um, we'll try to weld this and see, and see how it does. It's basically in the cave with the light. So I should be able to just tack this corner here. And then I'll go ahead and tack this corner here. So the first thing I've definitely noticed with this thing, it does not like any space. So if you have any sort of a gap, it does not want to weld it. So I will say with a little practice and, and, and practice, I can figure out how to kind of get it to get it to fill a gap. So I really just want to kind of show you the struggles I'm going through with this, considering um, you're trying to see what I'm going through here. So if you have zero gap and I mean you butt it up perfect, it does make a nice little seam, really nice. But if you have any gap at all whatsoever, you will lose a, your ground. Um, it really likes uh, butted up, perfect, perfectly butt up. All right, the tubing was a fail on everywhere. And the reason I say it's a fail is because the gaps had to be flawless. Um, the one part where we had it um, butted up perfectly, it seemed to weld just fine, a real nice seam. Um, but if there was any type of a gap like here, it just, it, it doesn't want to weld it. It's, it. It has no feel, it, it doesn't feel. That's the one thing. So here I'm just gonna do a simple weld here. Let's see what this bad boy will do here. Um, put my red dot where I want it. 
And let's see how the, how she'll weld this. So it welded it. Again, this is 14 gauge. So I ran it twice on both sides of the plate here. Um, I mean, just looking at it, it, it looks like a pretty decent weld on both sides. Let's, uh, let's hit it with the hammer and see, and see if we can get this thing to break or not. So I'm just gonna clamp it down to the table here and um, see if I can get this thing to break just to kind of see how well it welded this. Okay. I mean, it didn't break. <laughs> I mean, you can look at the weld and I mean, there's not even a tear. I don't know if y'all can see that, but is it impressive? Yes, but let's talk about this for a second. Um, for the average guy like myself, I ordered this machine from China. I have really no instruction besides the instruction manual that came with it. Um, I think it does take some practice. I think it has its place on structural stuff. Uh, you know, maybe if I, if I set myself up better to have some really clean uh, joints and really square joints, it would probably be flawless on that. Um, like, like this, I mean, it's such a flat weld. And I know y'all can't see in the camera, but if, if you look down in there, you can see that it's full penetration on that seam. It is kind of awkward going around the corner. Uh, so that's something the guy would have to practice and learn. Uh, the best way to just try to keep it coming all the way around. It doesn't fill very well. So it doesn't like gaps. That's the one thing I'm noticing. Thinner materials, I could see how this would be perfect for stuff like that. Um, HVAC guys, I could see how this would be good welding tabs and things onto uh, onto ducking and things of that nature. If I got some thicker wire and changed some tips out, went with some different uh, a different wire size, crank up the uh, wattage on this thing. Maybe I could do some outside corner on some thicker stuff. I'm not really sure yet, but here we are. Just to give you an idea of kind of. The struggles I'm going through with it, um, you know, wishing I had someone to talk to about it or someone that could even come out here and say, hey, man, oh, no, you're doing this wrong. This is how you should set that up. Either way, I'll get it figured out. I'm pretty sure about that. But that's the that's the laser welder.